Hey guys, it's John, and welcome back to Bloodborne. This is part 11 of my blind playthrough. And last episode, we ran into a bit of a roadblock, our first major roadblock, I would say, of Martyr Logarius. Actually, just the entire Kanehurst Castle area in general has probably given me more trouble than any other area or boss so far. But, in this episode, I aim to defeat him once and for all. We did make some progress towards the end of the video. I did figure out that he's actually quite easily parried, and I'm hoping to exploit that in my next couple runs. Now, in between the last video and this one, I actually did some grinding off screen, but it was just to make sure I had enough blood vials so I don't have to go do that mid-episode. So now I have 60 extra blood vials. I basically went and farmed blood echoes and just bought a bunch of them. Uh, and then we've got apparently 225 extra quicksilver bullets because I haven't been using them. You know, I might actually switch out my clothes for combat stats for the first time. Uh, the Knight's Garb only has 40 arcane defense and the Executioner Garb has 110. And it seems like Martyr Logarius uses mostly arcane attacks. I don't know, we're just gonna we're just gonna roll with it, and if it works, then good. Otherwise, whatever. I mean, we still- it's not gonna give us, like, a huge advantage or anything, if it even does anything. Okay, here we go. Wow, look at him. No! I parried him. But he just... it's so much damage, man. There we go. Gives us some of our Quicksilver bullets back. That's really anticlimactic. I had a backstab. And I got pushed off? That was shaping up to be a pretty good attempt. Like a pretty solid try. And I gotta go all the way. Uh, this is the worst part. Honestly, it's not even fighting him. It's just... It's, it's this part. Oh, did you expect me to cut? No, 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 no. No, you're suffering through this part with me. This is what I gotta do every single time. Wait for it. Wait for it to come up. May not seem like it takes that long, but... Okay, then we gotta wait. Wait, wait, wait. Save the sprint, go. Cut through right here. This is actually, I got lucky. Usually the dark guy has hit me a couple a couple times by then. He hits me all the way up the ladder and boy can't tell you how tempted I am to just go kill him. But I figure uh we can get our revenge after we kill the boss. Got to go up here. Go off to the side here because the gargoyle's right there. So he doesn't see us. Uh Gotten to the point where I, I like I care care very little. <laughs> I was waiting for that to happen. I was waiting. I was <laughs> right after I said I care very little. I do. No! Oh, that's so frustrating to get shoved off the ledge like that. By the way, you can't shove him off the ledge. I've tried. 
I've tried to shut. I, I, can't, I can't do what I did to, to Jura or whatever in Old Yarnum. Because I've tried. I've been like, well, this should be easy. He doesn't, he doesn't fall off. He kind of, he, he has, he has an invisible wall, but I don't. Because why would I? I just realized so far in this video, I've only actually died once from combat. The other three times I've died have been to falling off the roof. Because this is a boss battle on the roof. Not that I have a problem with or anything. Lugarious. You don't have to keep swinging. I swear, the the lackadaisicality with which this character pumps the blood vial makes me really upset. And it's like, move a little quicker. Your life's on the line. Don't you care? Do you care? Apparently not. Apparently there's no consequences for you. You just come right back. Okay, very good so far. I figure out you can do that. No! Get out! How did you hit me through the tower? Impossible! I feel like I'm doing so little damage. <laughs> it's just really frustrating because I like dodge out of the way of the attack and then I'm like, but then I get hit by the attack anyway, so I'm down, so I'm like, spamming circle, get back up, you piece of shit. And he slowly gets back up and then I'm like, I need to heal. But then he's also coming in for the attack, so it's like, dodge or heal, dodge and then heal. And then I dodge and then I start healing and then he attacks again. There's no time to do anything. You might as well just stand there and die. You may as well just stand there and die. When he starts doing that bullshit, the first time he gets a hit, you may as well just stand there. You may as well just like set the controller down and just go, hmm, guess I'm dead. Might as well enjoy the show. Might as well watch myself just die. Because that's what he does anyway. You can either sit there and expend effort trying to dodge and heal right there. Or you can just save yourself the energy. I found that in this game, you're constantly in a battle with what you know in your head, 
and what you actually do when you're playing. Like I know in my head, ah, I should try dodging through his attacks using iframes. That way I won't get hit. And then I can get behind him for the back stab. <laughs> it's just that easy. That's how it goes in my head. And then when I'm out there, I'm like spam, spam circle. I'm like spam circle, spam triangle. It's like I go back. Every time I go back right there when he does those attacks. It's like right there. I know, I know what to do. I just don't do it. What am I doing? That was... That was a kill? I had so much health left. Whatever. Damn it. Missed the visceral attack. That started off really well. So, what's weird, he had, um, he had like a special spell. He had like a special armor spell there that I've been able to successfully stop him from getting most of the recent tries. I don't know why I didn't stop it the last time. All you gotta do, he has several seconds where he's just staying there charging it. And if you do a charge attack in his back, it'll interrupt it and then he won't do it again. At least not that I've seen. Well, for some reason I did two charge attacks. I guess maybe they weren't enough in his back. I did two charge attacks and he didn't stop. So I don't know. I That's the first time I've seen that fail. So apparently the doll clothes are worth like 35,000 blood echoes. So I'm gonna sell them. <laughs> Considering I'm not gonna wear them. Oh, that's a lot of blood echoes. Wow. Also, some of these, like, uh, student uniform and student trousers are also worth a lot, too. But I kind of want to keep those. The night stuff is worth a lot. It's, it's <laughs> worth 25k. But it's like, uh, the reason I sold the doll stuff is because I'm not gonna actually wear it. You know? So, okay. Here's, here's the deal. I'm gonna come back to Logarius. I sat there for an hour, just this session, and I need a break, if anything else. It's not that I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm done with him or anything, but I, I, I will come back. It's just not right now, man. I'll go deal with um, Bergenworth in the meantime, because holy crap. 
And uh, you know what? I just I just don't care. There you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, let's go to Bergenworth. It's been a long time coming. I've been putting it off because it seems like it's very much a place that's important to the story of Bloodborne. And I wanted to make sure I got some optional places out of the way. So that's why I went off and did Lecture Building and Nightmare Frontier and uh, Kanehurst just now. But we're going to go to Bergenworth and we're going to see what's up. Cool. I need a change of scenery. Honestly. I really did. What's up? Summon younger Madaris twin. Oh hell. Fine, why not? I've got the insight for it. I'm I'm good for it. It was the younger Madaris twin, I wonder. Oh. That's a spider thing. Ah, uh, the Bergenworth spider, right? Okay. There you are. You look cool. Oh, uh, straight to bit. She's like, I want to take this thing out. <laughs> Don't just do that. Don't just do that to it. What? Wait, right, wait. I don't know why I said she. It's a. I think it's a he. Hard to tell. Um, you're doing frenzy to me right now. I'm not sure if you were aware that you were doing frenzy damage to me. Farewell. Quicksilver bullets. Oh, if only you knew that we didn't need that. We like literally don't need that. Okay, so now I know to. Now I know uh, to avoid that. Oh my god. Where are we going right now? Just back here. Oh, it's a mind flayer or brain sucker or, or whatever these things are. Oh, that was close. He almost got me. So, uh, are you all students here? <laughs> arcane Lake. Okay, fine. I will look at it. I have a feeling I know what it does. It increases arcane. Arcade defense. Yeah, yeah, defense. That's what I meant. Uh, hey, are you gonna use a blood vial or what? Look, it's just easy. You just fist pump. Let me see you do it. Also, I see you're using the hunter axe. Hmm, <laughs> I see you're a man of culture as well. <laughs> We're gonna get along great. So, yeah, do we want to go inside? Look at this lake, man. Speaking of lake runes, right? Yeah, there's the pale moon. What a sight to behold. Yeah, maybe we should actually go inside, huh? Confederate younger Madaris twin has died. Okay, I'll get to commentary on this thing in a second, but what a worthless NPC, am I right? Yo, dude, you okay? Who hurt you? My god, so are you a professor here? Are you, do you have tenure? Wow. Hmm. It's really easy to get behind you, huh? I, you kind of carry me along if I get behind your legs.
How many blood echoes are you gonna give me? 1400? That's all? 1400, really? You sure you don't want to give me more than that? Five sedative. Okay. No need to tell me what this is. People told me that it actually counters frenzy. Liquid medicine concocted at Bergenworth calms the nerves. Those who delve into the arcane fall all too easily to madness, and thick human blood serves to calm the frayed nerves of these inquisitive minds. Naturally, this often leads to a reliance on blood ministration. Huh. So, thick human blood counters basically in, in the insanity mechanic. Hmm. Something tells me I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna switch sedative in there. Nice. Is this a shortcut? I opened the door. Yeah, because I was just around here. So if the Madaris twins die, can I re-summon them? Oh my god, where do I even do that? I don't think so. I don't think I can re-summon them. That's probably okay. So, I want to go inside. How do we do that? Here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a door right here. Let's go inside. Does not open from this side. Really? Does it open... Is there a back entrance? Right here, surely. Okay. Nice. I still hear that baby! What's with the baby? I just realized. Is it because I hit 60 insight? Pearl slug. Okay, first of all. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Oh, wow. It's a chalice, um, ingredient. Of the all the strange life forms, I can't believe that's in the game, wow. That reside in the nooks and crannies of the old labyrinth. The slugs are clear signs of the left behind great ones. Really, and we're just gonna use them for a holy chalice ritual. Let's just sacrifice them for a trivial... Chalice dungeon. All right, let's open this up. We've opened up two shortcuts already. Something tells me this area is not that big. Are you a hunter? Oh my god. She is. Oh, she's got the threaded cane. Uh, that's a banister right there. Yeah. Did you use numbing mist on me? Did you? Wow, she's pretty tough. Nice. Yeah, she's pretty... I mean, you're, you're dead now, for sure. You're dead. Give up. How come the hunters always attack me? Three blue... That's all you had? Three blue elixir. Oh. How impressive. <laughs> student uniform, student trousers. Okay, so different student uniform, different student trousers. The spider hides all manner of rituals, certain to reveal nothing, for true enlightenment need not be shared. 
Sounds pretty hoity-toity to me. Locked? Well, we'll fix that, won't we? When the red moon hangs low, the line between man and beast is blurred. And when the great ones descend, a womb will be blessed with child. Is that the baby I keep hearing in the background? Well, but it's not, it's not a blood moon. It's a pale moon, pale blood. Like the guy in the, at the beginning said. Lunarium key, okay. I'll go over there in a second. Key to the Lunarium facing the lake on the second floor of Bergenworth College. In his final years, Master Willem was fond of the lookout and the rocking chair that he kept there for meditation. In the end, it is said, he left his secret with the lake. His secret, huh? I hear some shit. Where is that? Is it up? Gotta be up. Further up? Oh. Oh, hit you on the way down. Okay. Here we go. Give me this. What's this all about? What's all this? Empty phantasm shell. I'm getting all sorts of weird Lovecraftian crap. I guess it would be here, wouldn't it? Empty invertebrate shell that is said to be a familiar of a great one. The healing church has discovered a great variety of invertebrates, or phantasms as they are called. Shells with slime still harbor arcane power and can be rubbed on weapons to imbue them with their strength. Very cool. Um, I won't be using these though. <laughs> these all require arcane stats of like 15, 15, 18, 15, 20. They have S scaling, which is nice, but uh, I'm just not, I'm just not building arcane, okay? I'm not that kind of guy. Uh, let's go back down and use the Lunarium key. There's not a whole lot left of Bergenworth College. Like, are there dorms? Where are the students? I guess the lecture building is part of Bergenworth College, right? But it's in the nightmare. Very cool. Hello, boss. Nope. Old man. What? <laughs> I see. Let's just go ahead and get this ready. Hello? Ugh. Look at you. So I guess I'm supposed to kill you, huh? Well, better get started then. Rom the vacuous spider, hello. Can you die, please? What? Okay, why are we backing up? You 
We all look stupid, man. All right. You know, you're gonna run out of guardians at some point, bro. These are his children. Rom, the vacuous spider. Yeah, vacuous is right. Maybe vacuous in the head, <laughs> right? Okay, I can't help but notice these guys aren't giving me any blood echoes, by the way. So like, what's the plan here? Just in case. Hello. Can I get? Where'd you go? Oh my god, you're way over there. Okay. Okay, things were going great. No, no, no. Things were going great. And then just out of nowhere, dead? I had that thing under half health. Seemed like the bolt paper was doing a good job, too. I'm very confused about why... Okay, you know what, though? This is because I've had such a hard time with Logarius. I'm just gonna do this. Okay? I don't want to hear any guff about it, either. Now, listen. We gotta have a talk, twin. Okay, 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 listen. I know you're the younger twin. Hey, 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 stop. Stop. No, 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 I need you to not do this. This right here, I need you to not... Oh my god, you're so... Let me, let me take care of your messes for you. Okay, see that? I'm gonna need you to stop doing that. Okay, we want you to make it to the boss alive. Please. Remember last time? You died on the way there. Okay, please, can you, can you give me some warning? Are you gonna do anything besides shoot your little gun? At least tell me when you're gonna do it so I can get ready for a visceral attack, you know? Yeah, do you know how to get down? Okay, I'm just gonna go. Um, hello? Don't tell me you're fighting something. Oh my god, I, I'm... Listen, nobody better give me any shit about this guy. He's not gonna give me... He's not gonna give me an advantage. I mean, look at him. Okay, come on this way, please. Up here. You can handle that, right? Alright. Oh. This is nightmare fog right here. Interesting. So you're part of it. Are, is Rom the vacuous spider your little secret? Oh my god. The twin doesn't come through the nightmare fog. So what's the point? What's the point of even having him? Alright. This is a really weird boss fight. <laughs> I feel like it's in my best interest to clear these guys out first. Oh my god, he's here! He did come in! He's already getting his ass kicked, it looks like.
Yeah, spin to win seems to be the way to go. Madman's knowledge. Wow, really? Okay. Hello. You can still hit him when he does that. That's very interesting. Okay, start running, because he's doing his little... You just start running, okay. 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 progress though. I did that one solo. I think having having a co-op partner in this doesn't really help because they just they just target the little spider guys. Although maybe I should be targeting little spider guys. I don't know. Is it, let me guess. This is the older twin. <laughs> it's the older twin. You don't even have to like tease it. Oh, Mensis Scholar Damien. What the hell is that on your head? That looks really top heavy and uncomfortable. It looks more like a cage, like someone imprisoned you in that. Oh my God, are you sure you want to do this? Okay, whatever, dude. Okay, uh, yeah, let's go. Are you ready for this? Dun, 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 dun. He'll be he'll be in in just a minute. He's got to get ready. Now I do want to kind of take these spires out because Rom doesn't attack in this part. I've noticed. He like doesn't do anything. Oh my god. Hey, you finally made it here. Come on, kill some spiders. Whoa, he's like a mage. That does no damage at all. That's not helping. You're doing 14 damage per shot? You may as well not even be here. Are you gonna heal me at least? I mean, I'm, I guess I'll do all the work, I don't know. Oh, he's got a second attack.
Wait, what was that? These things just drop infinite madman's knowledge, apparently. Wow. Oh my god, he does heal. He does heal me. Bro, I appreciate it, man. Okay. Well, Rom, it's been fun. I'm gonna try to clear out the spiders. Okay, so when he's on his back, they go up. Okay. Yeah, okay. What is that? I don't know what that is. What did he do? Oh, ow, that hurts. You can still hit him. You can still hit him when he's like that. Alrighty. Fuck, 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 fuck. All right, Mensis, uh, Damien, whatever, has died. No! Okay. Try to get out of the way.
Prey slaughtered. It felt good to slaughter something in this video. Damn. All right, that was what? Three tries? Four tries? Something like that? I got, I, all I got was kin cold blood out of that. Nice. I know that I had an accomplice, but like, what did he really do? I guess he was a distraction. He did a little bit of damage. Who's this? Oh. Ooh, ooh. Cutscene. It's that baby. That baby I keep here crying in the background. And that's a that's a red moon. What does it mean? Well, I I like that boss fight. It's a little different. The the actual like boss, the spider was less of a pain than dealing with all the little um spiders around him. Ritual secret broken. Seek the nightmare newborn. Ritual secret broken. Seek the nightmare. Oh, wait, I'm right here? Hi, hello, old friend. Dude, are you gonna let me in here now? Oh, <gasps> it's open. It's open. Yeah. <laughs> Not there anymore, am I? Wait, what is this? I, I gotta go, like... Yahargul Unseen Village. Oh, wait, what? They're Yarnamites. What's all the- what's with all the sound effects? Are y'all okay? Hey, it's, uh, okay. Alright. I see. Yeah. Hmm. I forget everything that I read about what the Blood Moon means. So these are amygdalas that they have statues of, but limbless, it would seem. Or they well they have they have like one arm left. I can't tell if that's just a result of the statue being chipped away by time or if that's a deliberate decision by the sculptor. Cause it's weird that Oh, y'all come back. Wait, what? Y'all come back. Now, you hear? They come back, but you don't get echoes the second time. Oh, wow. Look! There's amygdalas everywhere! I'm getting my bold hunter's mark ready. Look! Oh my gosh. Y'all are just hanging out everywhere, huh? Cold blood. Alright, we might have to come back to this. I'm just looking for a lamp. Here we go. Here's a lamp. Wow, yeah, this will have to be for the next video. Next video, we will check this place out. We've actually, I mean, we've technically been there before. We've been to the Hypogean Jail. Hypogean jail. I always want to call it that, but then I just think of poggers. <sighs> All right. Uh, give me one sec. I'm actually gonna sell. Wait, what am I doing? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna sell anything. I'm gonna use my cold blood. So how much do oh kin cold blood two and kin cold blood twelve? How much do these give? Time to find out. Not bad, not bad. Let's make some upgrades. How much does this do? Twenty k. Okay, a nine thousand. That should be good for three upgrades. I'm hoping. 
It is good for three upgrades. So I'm, I'm bringing skill up to 22. Now, from the many comments that I've gotten, here's how I understand it. Strength and skill um, both have like a cap at 25 that after the stat reaches 25, you get diminishing returns until you hit the soft cap at 40, I think is what it was. It's either 40 or 50, I've heard both numbers. And then the hard cap is like 99, I think. Um, however, not every stat works this way. Apparently, Endurance has a hard cap of 40. So, I mean, I don't think I have to worry about getting anywhere near 40 for Endurance. Um, but it's just very strange, because people kept telling me, like, goes 25 in strength and 25 in skill, and I was like, why? <laughs> but it makes sense now. So, like, the seven points that I put into strength, um, will not give as much damage to, like, say, my Ludwig's Holy Blade as the points that I'm putting into skill now. Um, this, the points into skill are worth more than the points that I've been putting into strength post-25. I don't know if that makes any sense. Anyway. I, I, I'm missing one bloodstone chunk or I could get Ludwig's plus eight. That's a shame. I did, I did uh, give Kirkhammer plus six and Saw Spear plus three uh, just while I was, you know, offline grinding a bit. I also got uh, Tenitris plus three, but I never ended up using it. You just need a lot of twin bloodstone shards to get these guys to plus six at the very, you know, bare minimum. Uh... So yeah, I'll just repair them for now. They do need to be repaired. All right, let's go ahead and uh, take this one home. <laughs> so at the beginning of the episode, I tried to beat Martyr Logarius a few more times. I did a lot better. I just needed a break from him though. So then we went to Bergenworth, actually a very small area, and we defeated fairly easily uh, Rom the Vacuous Spider, which was an interesting boss battle. It seems like it was a good idea to leave it for after all those other areas that I did because now the moon is red and it said something about a ritual secret broken. Oh, yeah, something said, uh, the note about the red moon said that, um, a mother will give birth to a child or something like that. I don't know. We'll find out later. But in the next video, I'm going to explore Yahargul. Finally, I'm excited to do it. Unless there's something else I should be checking out and we can save Logarius for later. I'm done with him for now. I'll get my revenge. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the series so far. Hope you're enjoying it, and I'll see you in the next video. Think critically.